Let's stick with health. Researching medical advice online, it's nothing new. But there are new concerns about what people find on social media. The reason? Well, the information can often be false. Here with us is technologist and rheumatologist, Dr. Geeta Nayar. Dr. G, good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning, Hannah. Thanks for having me. Of course. Let's talk about the study this past year. It found 90% of Americans turned to social media as a resource for health information. 90%, Dr. G, what do you make of this number? Well, look, that's where the consumer of today is, and that's where they're finding their answers in lieu of not having a doctor or in lieu of just not finding simple health literate sources. So this is the reality of America today. So young people, specifically kids, they frequently use social media for latest beauty trends. I know it's all over my algorithm, even though I'm not very young. But what should we know when it comes to protecting our kids from these potentially dangerous trends? Well, the first thing we have to recognize is our kids are hungry and thirsty for health information, as we all are. So meeting them where they're at, teaching them how to look for health information. And look, I have a daughter. I have a 12-year-old daughter. I can't tell you how many skin routines she proposes, <laughs> Henna, right? So I've, we've had the conversation. Number one, I've said, look, let's go to a dermatologist. Let's go to someone who knows you, knows your skin. To let's look for other dermatologists on social media, right? Checking the source, making sure whomever your kids are following are actually legit and actually accountable for what they put out there. Number three, sources like the American Academy of Pediatrics, the CDC, there are some great online sources, but we have to give our kids the guidance. And look, you and me grew up with stranger danger, right? How many times did our moms and dads talk to us about stranger danger? We got to have the same conversation about social media what to look for, what to be aware of, and what's, and what's okay and what's healthy. That's really great advice. We have to talk about so, uh, mental health when it comes to social media. 95% of young people ages 13 to 17 reported using a social media platform. That makes sense. But what factors play a role in how social media affects their brains, Doc? Well, number one, what age are you starting your kids on social media, right? There needs to be a threshold. General advice is about above 13, ideally above 16. So that's number one. Number two, your child's own individual psychology and predisposition is important to know and understand usage. I cannot say this enough, Hannah. Are, are, are your kids on social media 24 by 7, or is there limited use? And perhaps most importantly, is there parental guidance, right? We can't just have our kids out there talking to strangers. We wouldn't do it in real life. Why would we do it online? So what does healthy social media use look like for kids and teenagers? Is it simply making sure they're not on it all day, every day? So again, extremes don't work, right? right. We know that our kids are on social media. You and me are on social media, right. right? So we can't expect from our kids what we can't do. So number one, age of when they start, right? Understanding how social media is being used for them. What are they looking for? Are they looking for information? Look, social media can be a great source of education, online workshops. Community building, is your kid really into sports? Is your kid really into animals and marine life sciences? There are some great sources out there. And if your kid is like my kid, she loves art, she loves to express herself. So this can be a great place to express and really have your kids not feel like they're stifled. So there are great uses for social media, but again, perhaps the most important is parental guidance. Stranger danger, we would not have our kids out talking to strangers, we certainly would not have them out there talking to strangers about their health. So we've got to give them the guidance. Such fantastic points. We hope you come back. Dr. Gita Nayar, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.